The Great Indian Circus, that's what driving on our roads feels like. And it's not surprising because a lot of the bad habits we have, we pick up during the beginning of our driving life. And it's, whoa, you see that? Oh, thankfully, I've got this blind spot screen right here to keep me out of trouble. Remember going to driving school? It's almost hilarious how random it all was. But today, with our roads getting busier, cars getting more powerful, it's all the more essential to be the better guy on the roads. And to help the new generation of drivers not make the same mistakes as everyone else, we're going to meet a few of them and their trainers. I have a feeling this is going to be a lot funnier than it should be. Now that's a sight that never gets old, watching someone learn to drive. But hang on, we haven't just come to watch, we're actually going to have some fun. Let's go ask them some quick road safety questions. Um, I'm not sure. Is it square? Triangular? Circular? It's the right answer. I think it's a triangle. Oh, I think it's rectangular. Probably triangular. What was the last triangular road sign you saw? Uh, triangular road sign I saw. I'm, I'm not sure actually. I would say triangular. Thirty days. Thirty days, I assume. As of what I know, zero days. I think you. It's very important to have an insurance. I think it's 30 days because uh, people need some time to renew their insurance. Ideally, I can drive the car without the insurance. For how many days? Uh, in a city like Mumbai, sab chalta hai. No. I'm guessing it's 30 days because, uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's I, what I feel. It's 30 days. 15 days. Okay. Don't try it at home. It's zero days. That's the answer. should be the vehicle coming down the straight. And you know this how? Because the guy inside in the circle will be inside. He'll go round and round. He won't. Like he'll need time to exit, right? A uh, guy coming down the straight. Why do you think so? He has a right of way, I assume, because he's down the straight. I'm cutting in, right? So I need to stop and you know give him way before I can actually turn. Are you sure about it? Yes, I'm very much sure about it. Are you extremely confident about your answer? I'm extremely confident, yeah. I'll go with option A, the powerful, the most powerful vehicle. And how do you justify that answer? Because I think he'll be the fastest one to get out of the way. I think the person who's already on the roundabout, maybe he's the first one to enter the roundabout. Oh. I think it's the person who's already at the roundabout. Yeah. And do you want to justify why you think so? Because I feel that was the route he was following, the person was following. I think I'll wave out cheerfully and just pass by. Yeah. Switch to low beam and maybe cheer, I suppose. I mean, I can't take the risk of waving, so I would honk twice, maybe. Or I don't know about the low beam. Maybe I would. I would think at that time probably. I usually honk twice. Uh, I may switch to low beam. I'll switch to a low beam because uh, that's how they'll also know that there's a car coming towards my way and I'll also know where the route is. Switch to low beam. Are you, are you confident about the answer? No, not very sure. I'm just assuming that's what I'll do. 
But wait, we haven't just got questions for the students, we've got some for their trainers as well. Let's see how this goes. I think of course you should because inside the tunnel there are so many red lights of different cars. If you turn your hazard light on, your car will be seen. No? That's why you should always turn your, uh, your hazard lights on so that your vehicle is seen. You know, tunnels are normally dark inside and uh, I think, uh, you know, once the blinking hazard lights are on, other cars in the tunnel can see you. That's why I think for visibility it is required to turn on your hazard lights. I can't tell you about it. It's okay. So, Generally, yes, but if you are driving in and around your residence, uh, may not be required. Because ultimately, you are in, you're in town and you know the place and you know there won't be traffic. So, for a short distance, it's alright to not wear. Uh, maybe once you are driving inside your building compound, that should be fine. Otherwise, I think you should wear your seat belt. Seat belt is very necessary. We have a lot of safety. बचाव हो जाता है उससे हमें सेफ्टी हो जाती है उससे तो सीट बेल्ट सभी को पहनना बहुत जरूरी है लुक या आई मीन दे आर चिल्ड्रन एट द एंड ऑफ द डे सो इफ दे हैव अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ फन एंड इफ यू आर ड्राइविंग स्लोली एंड यू आर ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ऑफ द रोड डजन्ट हर्ट एनीवन सो एट एट लो स्पीड्स मे� I think it's a bad idea because you know if you break hard, they can fall off the seats and you know fall down the fall from the sunroof. So I think it's better uh, if they don't pop out of the sunroof. No, I don't know about that. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I suppose the right hand side one is absolutely required. The left hand side one, maybe you could keep it closed because your auto rickshaws and your uh, two wheeler. Uh, Riders will always knock it off, right. so it's it's uh, left mirror can be closed, but the right hand side mirror, I think at least that is important. I would need about two, the one inside in front of me and the one on the right hand side. That should suff that suffices for me. And the left one is not really necessary, right? Ah uh, no, I can drive without it. Zada tar rear view mirror, zada important hai. Agar left side ka nahi hoga, to chalega. Mera right side ka hona bahut zaruri hai. They save your lives, but uh, the only dangerous part, I guess, is if they blow, they're expensive to repair. I have heard that the airbag, when it, you know, opens, it explodes like a bomb. So I think it could be dangerous for people sitting in the seat. So, yeah, I think uh, they are, they could be dangerous. Sabhi gaadi mein hona chahiye airbag. Jis mein nahi hai, company wale denge toh sabse achhi baat. That was fun. I'm sure you had your fair share of laughs. But, uh, well, when it translates to life on the road, I suppose the laughs turn to something downright scary, right? On the road, just like anywhere else in society, it is super important to be the better guy. And for that, we've got something a little special that's going to make life on the road safer and better for all of us. Uh, what I would suggest the drivers, as a driver, what I would follow is uh, always follow the traffic rules and most important of them are uh, lane discipline which uh, over a period of time had deteriorated but at the same time if you look at, at the recent amendments, fines have increased. In some cases even it has become uh, non-compoundable, they will be sent to the court. So it is in the process of course. So if you are over speeding of course you are putting yourself in danger as well as other people. And uh, if I connect this with the uh, safety of pedestrians on road, so somehow it's uh, it's still going into the minds of the drivers and it still has not crept in properly that pedestrians are uh, very important on roads. Maybe pedestrians should be given the first preference. The awareness is very important part of uh, enforcing and uh, maintaining traffic uh, rules and traffic discipline. So I think awareness is the part where we, you are doing a great work. 
The Autocar India Road Safety Manual is your pre-drive checklist to make sure you do everything just right when behind the wheel. Make it your wallpaper or just keep it handy in your glove box. It's a quick read but it will certainly help you be safe and of course be the better guy.